In this chapter, we are going to learn about the Selenium weights. We already saw the third dot slip that is from Java. And in Selenium, we have two types of weights. One is the implicit weight and another one is the explicit weight. In this video, we are going to explore the implicit weight first. And in the next chapter, we are going to learn about the explicit weight. Implicit weight is very easy concept and it is going to affect only two functions that is find element and find elements. Let me show you an example. If you remember, this is our first uh, chapter code just to perform the login uh, in our let code application. So we are entering the email, we are entering the password and then we are clicking on the login button, right? Now let me change this email to email one. So the locator is wrong. So in this in this scenario, if I try to run this, of course, I will end up with no such element exception, correct? That is true, but let us see the time difference. For example, I'm going to run this. Now let's watch carefully. So the browser got start and it's going to click on the login. And if you go to the console, you can see we got the uh, exception that is no such element in less than few seconds, I can say. It is very quick, right? But let me show you what is the usage of implicit weight and how we can implement that. Implicit weight can be implemented anywhere once we created the object. But I will recommend you to uh, use it be even before we load the URL. Okay. So driver dot manage. And then we have to say uh, timeouts. And then we have to say implicitly wait. And here we have to pass the number of seconds we have to wait. It depends on the project based on your application, uh, the backend process and everything. Uh, but the recommendation is you can use up to 20 to 30 seconds. In this scenario, I'm going to use 10 seconds so that I can show you the demo quickly. Okay? And here I have to say the timeouts and it's going to be seconds. So time unit dot seconds. Time unit is coming from your uh, java.util concurrent dot time unit package. Okay? So make sure you remember the package. In Eclipse, we can just type like SEC and control space that will do the job but it is always good to remember the package name as well okay now let me try to run this so i have added one line that is driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait and i have added that time so if you remember in the previous execution we got the exception very soon right let's see in this time what is going to give us so the browser got launched now and the login is clicked and here it's going to search. Now, if you see in the console, we are not getting any exception. It is going to throw us the exception only after 10 seconds. Now, you might ask me why that is needed. Anyways, my test script is going to fail. Makes sense, but I have explanation for that. As in that, we are going to load our website and maybe because of some network issue or the backend process is getting loaded or the JavaScript or the CSS is taking much time to load the entire application. In fractions of second, the element is going to come, maybe let's say 20 or 30 seconds or even 10 seconds, right? In that scenario, instead of waiting for each and every uh, action, for example, for waiting the email, uh, 10 seconds and for the password, 10 seconds and again for clicking on the login, 10 seconds. So instead of waiting for each and every actions to be performed within the given time, we can use the implicit weight here. When I say implicit weight equal to 10, that means Whenever I'm going to find any of the element, doesn't matter, it's going to be name, ID, or XPath, any of the locators that we have in Selenium, the eight locator strategy, any of the function I am going to use, whether it's a find element or the find elements, it is going to wait 10 seconds. If the element is not there after the 10 seconds, then it is going to throw us the no such element exception. But you might ask me, if I use like 10 seconds, then it's going to wait for 10 seconds for each and every element that might be time wastage, right? That is not the actual case. For example, let's say that we are going to book an pizza. Okay, when the pizza arrives, let's say that it's going to arrive in arrives in 30 minutes. So we will probably wait like 30 minutes. If it's going to be more of more than 30 minutes, then obviously we'll do the cancellation. We will cancel the order, right? But if the pizza is going to be delivered in the next 15 minutes, won't you get the pizza and start eating? Definitely you will, right? That is what implicit weight also do. Implicit weight will wait maximum of the given amount here. That is 10 seconds in our case. But if the element is going to be appear there on the second or the third seconds, then it will do the interaction. By default, implicitly wait, wait for each and every 500 milliseconds. That means in the scale of 10 seconds it is going to find the element for 20 times so if i 
I mean, 5 seconds into 2 is 1 second. So, similarly, you can do the math, I know. So, so in the interval of 500 milliseconds, it is going to try to find the element. If the element is not there, again, it will try to do. When the maximum amount of time it's going to reach, then it will throw the error. Okay, so that is the use of implicit weight and it is one time declaration until the driver object is there. So until we call the driver dot quit, it is going to act only for two functions that is find element and find elements. When I say only for find element, that means it can find any of the element like ID, name, xpath, CSS, whatever we have. Okay, so that is the use of implicit weight and <clears throat> You must include the implicit weight in all your scripts. Of course, if it's going to be framework, we'll just add this in the framework level and that's going to take care. But as of now, for your learning, you should in, uh, you should include this in all your script. That is what recommended. Okay. And now most of people say that we should not mix implicitly and weight and explicitly weight. That is completely wrong. Implicitly weight is affected only for the find element and the find elements, whereas explicitly weight can be used for different scenarios that we are going to learn in the next chapter.